Hello, 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 hello. Ah, another week. Oh, amazing. Right, new term. Woohoo! How are you? Are you good? I, I bet you are. I bet you all had so much fun over half term. I bet you all were outside enjoying the sun. I bet you some of you have got some pools, some swimming pools that you're all playing in. Oh, I bet you were having so much fun. Okay, let's crack on with the lesson. So the most important rule at the moment, of course, is to have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of fun. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so our news. Now, obviously, some of, sometimes I see some of you during our lesson time, um, during our Zoom session. But for those of you who I don't, or even if I do, I would like you to go find your nearest grown up and tell them what your favourite thing about half term was. Now, before you go, I'm going to tell you mine. Mine was enjoying the sun in my garden and reading lots of books. Okay, now I'm going to count to three and then you're going to go. Ready? One, two, three. Go find your grown-up. Have you told your grown-up? Well done. Okay, so we're going to start with our first game today. Now, our first game um, is called Follow Your Nose. It's super easy. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to find a space in the room. Anywhere is fine, as long as you can move around. Okay, now, I'd like you to move around. Just feel the space that you're in. Okay, move around. Maybe go faster, then go slower. Change direction. Um, use, uh, make sure that you know where everything is in the room. Now, become aware of your nose. So, look at your nose you can always see it look at your nose I want you to use your nose to lead you around the room so your nose is gonna go first and you're gonna go wherever your nose follows okay now keep walking make, make that nose follow that nose follow that nose okay now walk in again normally well done walk around the room the different pace again maybe a bit faster or a bit slower well done okay and now I would like you to follow your finger so you're gonna put your finger out and then you're gonna move your finger and you're gonna follow that finger Ooh. Ooh. I can't do it very much because I haven't got very much space in this room so Ooh. Ooh, follow it round. Ooh, well done. Now walking normally again. Walking normally, walking normally. Well done. Okay, now I would like you to use your elbow. Use your elbow. And you're going to follow that elbow. Keep going, keep going. Follow the elbow. Ooh, ooh. Okay, follow the elbow. Okay, now I'd like you to use both your elbows. Ooh, both those elbows. <gasps> well done. And just pause there and just walk normally again. Fantastic. Okay, so this time I would like you to follow your leg. Doesn't matter which leg, it can be the right or the left leg, but one of them must lead. So one of them has to always be showing you what direction to go in. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, and last but not least, I would like you to use your, hmm, what should we do? Use your hand. Follow that lead with your hand. Ooh. Well done, and just stop there. Okay, well done. That's quite hard to do on your own, especially when I can't, when I'm not there to kind of show you properly. 
um, and obviously I'm quite in a small space so I can't really show you but well done I'm sure you've got it as long as you l l were following what you had to follow you've done it okay go grab a drink okay have you all had a drink well done okay so now I would like you to find a space in the room where you can sit down and make sure you're super comfy. Have you done it? Well done. Now I'm going to give you three random words and I would like to make I would like you to make a little story or sentence with all of those words. So I'm going to give you an example so just listen. So for example, the words are dog, moon and book. So have a little think. Think about what sentence you could make for us. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what sentence I made out of that. Are you ready? The dog jumped up to the moon to read his book. So I used the word dog, I used the word moon, and I used the word book. Okay. Well done. So now it's your turn. You can use the you can use the words in any order. So it doesn't have to be dog moon book. It could be book moon dog, or it could be moon dog book. Okay. But here are your first set of words. Listening. Well done. So we have pineapple, we have mirror, and we have teddy. I'm just going to give you a few seconds to think about that. Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one well done i'm going to move on but if you need to pause the video then pause it and have a think of what other sentence you can do okay the next three words are heart like your heart heart sun and flowers like the sunshine okay so heart sun and flowers okay give you another 10 seconds there so just 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay go tell your grown-up what that is well done okay so the next three words we have are car shop and music so car shop music again so I'm just going to give you another 10 seconds there so just think about what sentence you can make with them car shop music 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. And this is going to be our last set of words. So sun cream, table, and book. So sun cream, or you might know it as sun block or sun lotion. So sun cream, table, and book. Okay, just a few seconds. You might be able to hear the birds outside. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Okay, so that's all of the words and all of the sentences that I'd like you to do for today. So that's our first little bit. Okay, I forgot what I was going to say there. Okay, so it's a new term, which means we have a new theme. What do I mean by theme? So last, last term, our theme was hope. So we did a lot of things about being hopeful and things like that. So this term, we are still looking at hope, but we're also adding summer <laughs> obviously because 
it's nice and sunny outside and because it's nice and sunny outside and nice and warm it means we can eat loads of ice cream woohoo hands up who likes ice cream i love ice cream let me know what your favorite is i'm intrigued to know i would like to know okay right so for this week we are going to look at poems and then we're going to look at poems about summer so the poems we are working on today oh sorry about that the poems we are going to work um on today are in the email that your grown-ups receive um so i am going to go pause the video so you can go and have a look at them could you also see if your grown-up can print them off for you that'd be really fantastic if they could Okay, I'm just going to pause the video while you go find them. Ah, I've put the light on so you can hopefully see me a bit better now. Um, okay, so the first poem that um, we are going to look at is called Summer. Okay, so just make sure you're sitting down comfortably and just have a listen to what I'm going to say. So, Summer. As the trees grow taller and the leaves reappear. Summer surely draws near. Sunny days at the park, an ice cream in one hand, maybe relaxing in the sand or having fun with your brother, sister or friend. Oh, how I wish that summer wouldn't end. That excitement await in, awaits in autumn, starting fresh and new, with a, schooling, school, with a school bag uniform and maybe a new pair of shoes. Okay, so I didn't read that very well because I had uh, something in my mouth. Um, but hopefully you've got it in front of you so you can have a little read of it. Okay, so I'm just going to read it again. Okay, so just to make sure you understand it. So just have a listen again. I'm just going to wait for that fan to go past. Summer. As the trees grow taller and the leaves reappear. Summer surely draws near. Sunny days at the park, an ice cream in one hand, maybe relaxing in the sand or, or having fun with your brother, sister or friend. Oh, how I wish that summer wouldn't end. But excitement awaits in autumn, starting fresh and new, with a school bag, uniform and maybe a new pair of shoes. Okay, so just before you listen to the next one, I'd like you to have a read through that or maybe have another listen and make sure that you understand everything that's going on in that poem. So I'm just going to pause it. Okay, well done. Okay, so I'm going to read out a second one as well, okay? So this one is the one with the little sunshine in the corner. So listening well done summer is messy summer is fun summer is spending all day in the sun summer is campfire s'mores and late nights summer is windy days spent flying kites summer is tan lines and splashing in lakes summer is mornings with chocolate pancakes summer is the time spent with family and friends summer is hoping that it never ends okay just make sure you, you understand that. So maybe have a pause. I'll read it again in a minute. Okay. I'm just listening. I'm going to read it again. So, summer is messy. Summer is fun. Summer is spending all day in the sun. Summer is campfires, s'mores and late nights. Summer is windy days spent flying kites. Summer is tan lines and splashing in lakes. Summer is mornings with chocolate pancakes. Summer is time spent with family and friends. Summer is hoping that it never ends. Okay, so obviously at the moment, you might not be able to spend a lot of time with your family and friends, but we're just trying to remember all of the good things about summer. Okay, so hopefully you've understood both of those poems. 
okay? And if you haven't, then just maybe go pause the video and just ask your grown-ups, so your mummy, your daddy, your sister, your brother, whoever you are with, um, to just, mm, and just ask them what you don't understand. Because usually I do that, but obviously I'm not there. But I just want to make sure that you completely understand both of those poems. Okay, well done. Okay, so now that you, I have read both of them to you, I would like you to pick your favourite poem. And that is the poem we are going to work on this week. So just have a little think. I'll pause the video while you choose. If you can't choose just one, I can. you can do both of them. Okay, have you decided? Are you going to do the one called Summer or are you going to do the one where Summer is fun? Whichever one you want to do is absolutely fine. But now I'd like you to grab your printout or grab or make sure that you're stood where you can see it. You're stood where you can see your poem on the screen. Okay, so you're going to stand nice and tall. You're going to stand. Uh, stand nice and tall, like and tall like a soldier, and nice and still. Okay. Now you're going to use a clear, loud voice and look straight ahead. So imagine if I was there, you'd look at me. If your mummy or daddy are just in front of you, you'd look straight at them. Okay, look straight ahead, and just say that poem for me. Okay, just say it. So I'm going to I'm going to say one of them just to just to help you out here. Okay, so standing nice and tall. Okay, I'm ready for a nice clear voice. Now a nice clear voice means that you are very well understood, so everybody can understand what you're saying. So listen to me. So you could, if you're doing this poem, say it with me. Ready? Three, two, one. Summer is messy. Summer is fun. Summer is spending all day in the sun. Summer is campfires, s'mores and late nights. Summer is a windy day spent flying kites. Summer is tan lines and splashing in lakes. Summer is mornings with chocolate pancakes. Summer is time spent with family and friends. Summer is hoping that it never ends. Okay, so notice how I was stood nice and tall. So you might have heard that I had lots of, um, I sounded so different sometimes in the poem. Now that's called expression. So if you can, put some expression in your voice because this is an exciting poem. If summer's a good time, you have lots of fun. So just show me how you might say that. Think about how you talk when you're excited and try and put that in the poem. Okay, well done. Right, I'm going to sit back down now. Okay, so. Okay, so now that you have done that, okay, do it a few times so you feel really good about it. Okay, so this week I would like you to decorate the poems I've given you. Now one of them already has a sun, so you might want to add some different things to that. You still need to be able to read what it says, but you could add some flowers, you could add some sun, sun, some sunshine on it, you could add loads of different colours, maybe a rainbow. Make your poem lovely and pretty for me. So, and homework for next week is to keep practicing that poem. If you are looking at both of them, even better. Think about the things you need to think about. So standing nice and tall like a soldier, speaking nice and clearly and slowly. You don't want to talk too fast. And once you've practiced them a few times, you might find that you remember them. So if you can remember them off by heart without looking at that paper, that is an amazing, amazing job that you've done there. So well done. I would love if you sent me some of those videos. It would be absolutely amazing to see you performing those poems. 
Okay, so it's drama star time. So you have all done a fantastic job, given the fact, especially because it's the first week back after half term, we're all tired, the sun's out, which makes us more tired. We've got a lot of work to do now. So you have all done amazingly. You're all amazing, you're all smiley, and you're always, always happy. And that is so good to see. Okay, so our drum roll for today is we love drama. So let's do a little drum roll, ready? Hands in the middle. One, two, three. We love drama. Well then, see you next week.